Ever since SmartPLS 4 released the covariance-based SEM, or CB-SEM, as part of version 4, I know many have wondered, including myself, whether the results you get from SmartPLS CB-SEM, not PLS-C, not PLS-consistent, but the covariance-based SEM, whether those results are truly identical to the results you would get from a full information covariance-based application that we're familiar with, like Amos or Levon or EQS or M+. And so to put that concern to rest, I've estimated an identical model in M+, that's what you're seeing right here, and in Smart PLS, right down here. And I can report to you with confidence that the results are truly identical to the very last decimal. So in this model, I'll just highlight a few things. In this model, you can see we have estimates like from dead end job to work satisfaction of negative 318. And if I go up here to the M plus model, sure enough, negative 318 in the same position. Let's look at another one. Here's 699 and 699. Let's now look at covariances or correlations. Here's 851. And if we go back up here, 851, let's look at the outer model. Here's EC1 and EC2 with 778 and 594 in M+, plus, 778 and 594. Here we are, 778 and 594 in a Smart PLS. And now let's look at residual variances. The ones in the model above in M plus were standardized, but the ones here in M plus are not standardized. So I brought down the unstandardized residual variances right here in this table. And let's say, let's look at this top one here, 734 for SW1. Let's go find SW1 right here and 734. These are truly identical. Here's ethical concerns, 513. Here's ethical concerns, 513. These are truly identical in every respect. We can look at the R-square as well. Here's the R-square for work satisfaction, 821. And if we go up here to M+, plus, the R-square for work satisfaction is 821. They are identical. And now this is the test I ran, but there are very well-known models out there. For example, the Arbuckle book, the Amos user guide. If we look at this, this is published in that book on page 112. We see the same results. Here's alienation to alienation, 67 to 71, and the estimate is 58.58. And if we go down to the Smart PLS replication, you can see this rounds up to 58. We can look at the estimate here, 787 on Anomia 71, and 787 rounded up is 79. So the same results from the Arbuckle book. What about not in Amos? What if we were to go down, let me skip this one, there's another replication of the Burn Amos book. It is identical as well. What if we were to do L uh, Lizril? How about that? Well, Lizril doesn't produce beautiful models with estimates on it, as far as I can tell. But we can find these estimates if we compare carefully. So, let me go down here. Let's find, here's from ETA 2 to 3, this is negative 603. If I come up here, I will find that right up here negative 604 for that estimate. I had to look up in the book if this was correct. Yes, this is correct. It is estimate B32, beta 32. So pretty darn close. We could check another one. Here is Y4838. And here it is, uh, lambda 42838. So there it is. Very close. So that's Lizeral. But what about the Joseph Hare book? This is a very popular, maybe the most cited statistics book. Here is their model, and we can see a couple of these. Let's see, how about from uh, JS to SI? It has an effect of 0.12. Here it is in Smart PLS, 0.12. 535, 55. And here's another Lizeral one if you wanted from Rigdon 1998 from that book. And it is, again, identical. So I hope that settles your mind. Smart PLS CBSEM uses full information, maximum likelihood, and produces results not just similar but identical to M+, and other full information CBSEM methods and applications. 
Hope that helps.